today is a special day. You might have guessed from my hat. It's St. Patrick's Day. Yes! <laughs> so join us for our last week in Ireland as we celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Hi everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Lost in Transit. We're Tom and Iz. A couple of years ago, we decided to do up an old Ford Transit, move into it and disappear into the great outdoors. After fitting out the van and escaping lockdowns, we are finally living van life. Come along for the ride as we attempt to live, work and play in a tiny space together while travelling the world. Having spent three months in Scotland, we crossed the Irish Sea to Ireland. This series, we will be following the Wild Atlantic Way along some of the most spectacular scenery in the world. How do you say? We're buzzing for it. So excited, we went as much green as we can. We've got a 20 minute walk into town and we think this is gonna be quite a wild day from what we've heard. Let's go. So I'm so excited for this weekend. We have so much planned. We've splashed out a bit and we're going to like lots of events, live music. Uh, we're going to go see some hurling. We just have so much to do. This is going to be the cherry on top for our whole island adventure. So we're just walking into Waterford from where we parked up. And I thought it was a cool time to tell you a little fact I found out today. Um, the first St. Patrick's Day parade didn't actually happen in Ireland. It happened in Boston in America in 1737. The first St. Patrick's Day parade didn't happen in Ireland until 1903. And it happened here in County Waterford. As we are saying, this is our final weekend in Ireland and it just seems so fitting that it's St Patrick's Day and everyone is celebrating. Everyone has four days off to celebrate and no one's been able to do it for the last two years. So uh, it's going to be a big hurrah and we're hijacking it to treat it as our goodbye. We've now got into Waterford, it took us about 20 minutes to get here and we can already hear the music. We can see people getting the parade ready, we've seen a few people with like these crazy like bird sculptures music's pumping we're gonna find where the party's at so this is actually our first time in waterford and it's a really nice place it's uh got the big river running all the way through so it's all on the waterfront which i would expect nothing less from a place called waterford first pit stop of the day is at carter's coffee shop We've got a view of the river gonna get pumped but well, it's a little bit too early for the first guinness bear in mind guys it's half 11 it like things haven't started yet it's quite quiet apparently Waterford has won the award for the best place to live in Ireland um, and you can see why it's really beautiful. We're really early into town, it's like 11 o'clock but um, you're starting to see more people in green, some little shamrocks in the hair, all that sort of stuff. Now we are off to find a pub for our first pint of the day.
amazing how multicultural the St. Patrick's Day celebrations are. It's really nice to see. Yeah, it's really lovely. Cultures coming together. Give me that picture with the mayor. How are you? Don't spill the drink. I'm going for some. I'm going for some very shortly. It was the first place where the tricolour, the green, white and orange, was first ever flown. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> I hope we don't embarrass ourselves too much today. We are having a really nice time in here. In the bar, good atmosphere, we've had some chips. The only vegan thing on the menu. And um, we've met some more of Emily's family. We hit the centre of the town, we don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to go and find somewhere to hit. We had a really fun time um, just now. We went to Hiri's bar and it was like house music, fair, it was good fun. But now we're actually walking back to the van. We've just got a burger. It's the greasiest burger I've ever had in my life, but really good. Hey everyone, <laughs> we've woken with slightly sore heads. But we are, we've got a really fun weekend planned. We're going to see some live music tonight, so we're off to kill Kenny today. Uh, we've got a friend who's kindly let us stay on their drive for the next couple of nights because we've got some plans in Kilkenny. And we're going to go hit the road now to get there before dark, and the music starts at half seven. Tom's feeling a little bit worse to wear. We've got a nice empty road on the way to King Kilkenny. Blue skies. Today has been a bit of a write-off. Um, we've been feeling a little worse for wear after our St. Patrick's Day celebrations. I feel a little bit better now. I've had a glass of wine. Hair and the dog sort me out. Uh, but we are in the middle of Kilkenny, which is a beautiful ancient city. One of the reasons we've come to Kilkenny is that the St. Patrick's Day celebrations continue for almost a week, and there's actually a trad festival here. We've booked at Ether Scott and Pip and John Murphy's tonight. It's just starting now at the Medieval Mile Museum. So we, we weren't sure what to expect when we bit this. Um, I was not expecting it to be in this grand venue, um, but I'm loving it. We've just seen the first act. Um, yeah, we're not really allowed to film. So, no, um, unfortunately. First time I've seen live music in a long time, since the summer. We went to a festival in the summer. And boy, was it good. Uh, it's a bit like, kind of weird being sat down because yeah. I'm used to grooving, moving. Was, my bum went a bit dead. Just demolished a lot of Thai food. Had the Thai curry with rice. And it was a really big portion and I was so hungry, so enjoyed that a lot. Now we've got the 40 minute walk back to Bonnie's house. Good morning, uh, we've had a really nice leisurely morning getting to know Polly, which is Isabel's stepdad's friend who is camping on her drive. Um, and she lives about a 40 minute walk outside of the city and it's a glorious day. So we are walking in, uh, it's a nice walk along the river and we're going to do some touristy bits, see Kilkenny. Also today, Ireland have the possibility of winning the Six Nations, uh, so that could be fun as well. So Kilkenny, it's a really lovely city. It's all quite contained in a small area, so you can walk everywhere really easily once you're in the centre. It's very historic, lots of beautiful buildings. So we're gonna go and see some of them today. So that was a lovely walk, it took about 40 minutes into the town along the river. Now we're going to Canice's Cathedral and Round Tower. And it's one of the only round towers in Ireland that apparently you're allowed to climb to the top of. So hopefully we'll get up there. Deep entrance. Go. Oh, 
steep. We're gonna have people come across our path. Top of the world up here. It's a bit scary. <laughs> a little bit of vertigo. So we wanted to get a coffee and we just stumbled across Little Collins, which is a CBD dispensary. So we've got two oatmeal flat whites with CBD shot in. Got a coffee to go, so we're going to sit in the sun somewhere. Ole, 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 oh, oh, oh. Massive expanse of park here to chill out in. So we had a really nice lazy time in the park, just enjoying the sun. And now we've come in to get some food at the Cutting Veg. It's a plant-based cafe in Delhi. We've got loads of good stuff on the counter, like fresh pastries, and we're just deciding now between a soup or a goulash. We've got mushroom soup, and I've got a flapper wrap, and this has got a... Strombolio. How was your meal? It was very nice. Now we just come down to Canal Square to watch some music. Burns pub, which was recommended by our host Holly. <laughs> we weren't sure if the pint would go down well because we're still we are on our second day hangover. Uh, but you know whether it can like, either get you in a good way or a bad way. I think this is going to be a good one. All right, to watch the match, come on, Ireland. So a convincing win for Ireland, um, and now the Irish have to cheer on England to, um, to win. beat France, and then Ireland win the overall thing. So it's going to be interesting to see how the Irish cheer on England. Uh, we've already been listening to the guys next to us, and they've worked out that England only need to draw, so they're cheering for the draw rather than the win. England so lost. Yeah, England lost, which means France got a grand slam. We spent five hours in the past, which is quite a lot. Uh, but now, wait for us to drink our wine and we'll head back, I think. Hey guys, morning. Good morning. It's a bit of a misly grey day today and Polly, who we have been staying on her driveway, has just dropped us off and we are going to go and watch the hurling. First hurling match. It's a big game. It is Kilkenny against Waterford. Um, so yeah, we're excited to see our first ever hurling match. There's quite a few people already, quite crowds turning up. It's like quite a family event, lots of families turning up together. The hurling is the fastest sport on grass. Um, and it dates back to Celtic times, pre-written history in Ireland. And it was a way for the Celtic warriors to train for battle. You can walk up to four steps of the ball, and then you have to either bounce it on your stick, which is called a hurley, or pass it.
great. It was really fast paced. Look like really great crowd atmosphere. Everyone's cheering along, um, and I think it was all the more better to watch it in person. Yeah. And on TV. And we watched a video teach us rules yesterday. You could actually follow it. I was quite uh, pleased. Yeah. I am so glad we did that. Guys, we've just been to a Mexican store and got the most delicious tacos. So there's only enough for one portion of vegan stuff left. We've got a whole chili, to my delight. And like, it's just beautifully arranged. Avocado and spicy sauce. Mmm, just where there's chili. We are heading back from town. Um, we are walking back to Polly's house because our new videos come out. Isabel's w watching it now to do some final checks, um, but it should be up and ready. But uh, we just want to get back so we can answer some comments and stuff. And then we might be heading back out later because we've got tickets to go and see some live music. So we came back out again um, after going back to do the YouTube stuff. Um, and we managed to forget the camera, which is a real shame um, because that was an awesome gig. Some of the best live music I've ever seen, it was so amazing and it gave you all the feels and yeah. we've just bought a CD so we can listen to it in the car and it's quite nice because it'll capture our time in Ireland when yeah. we miss it we can listen to it. Hello guys so it is the next day we left Kilkenny we had such an awesome night listening to that live music we have driven now back down to the coast we're here uh, down in Wexford uh, we are at uh, Old Hook Lighthouse which is the oldest lighthouse that is still in use um, in the world which is quite cool and we're parked up right on the seafront so this is our final night in Ireland tomorrow we're heading to Rosslare and we'll be catching the ferry over to Wales it, we've just had the best time it's just been awesome and what a fun weekend we've had to top it off yeah we're just on our last night in Ireland we can't believe it Four months have flown by. And what a backdrop, we're at this Hooks Lighthouse, it's beautiful here. And we are both exhausted after our weekend, we really are. Ireland is definitely taking its toll on us. The pubs of Ireland. <laughs> Our final day in Ireland. A bit sad, but also quite excited to get a ferry, because I love getting a ferry. And really excited to see our family and friends. We're now on the way to our next pin of the day. Uh, we're trying to see as many spots as possible before we have to get to the ferry port at five. Um, we won't have explored County Wexford as much as we'd like, uh, but hopefully we can come back and explore the East Coast and explore the places we haven't got to see this trip. Just pulled over at Carnivan Beach. We're going to go have a look and see what it's like. <laughs> Wow. Oh guys, by the way, we found Tom's glasses. They were oh. squashed under our washing bag. We were wearing <laughs> Isabel's glasses. Because I don't really drive. Tom needs good glasses or contact lenses to be able to see while he's driving. Honest, these aren't right anyway. You've seen them blow off my face. Back in 1170, Normans would have landed here and they set up a fortress up in the headland and they managed to defeat the locals who tried to repel them um, and they captured 70 prisoners and apparently they broke all their legs and chucked them off the cliff into the ocean. So Tom, you all about the history here and you 
might be wondering, like if you're a diddy donut like me, who were the Normans? They were Scandinavian Vikings <laughs> who settled in Normandy in France. And they came and invaded England in 1066. And then a whole century later, they came over to invade Ireland. Why did they come here? Well, the deposed Irish King of Leinster brought the Normans here to bring back his reign of this territory. And <laughs> the first place these Normans landed in Ireland was Barrow Bay. Is that close to here? I have no idea. <laughs> we'll have to find out where it is. If you want to go down to see Banno Island, which is apparently where the Normans first came, we're, we're taking a risk. Oh, it's really smelly around here. We've done some muck spreading. <laughs> My window's open. Um, we're driving down here. It does say there's a 2.2 meter limit, height limit, and we are over that. But we're hoping we can just park on the side of the road so we can go and visit Banno Island. So this is Banno Island. Uh, behind us, that would have been the island. So over time, the channel in between the island and the mainland has silted up and there's now land. So the island is no longer an island. So picture this. Horses galloping, knights marching. The Normans arrived at this shore eight centuries ago. So we parked up at Rosslare Ferry, uh, ferry port. We tried to pay, none of the machines work. And we've just come down to see the beach here. It's really, really beautiful. It's kind of cool that that massive ferry behind us is probably the ferry we're going to catch back to the UK. Quite cool watching it come in. Oh, it's quite fitting as well to end our time in Ireland on a, on a sunny day. So it's time to catch the ferry. Israel's just turning the gas off, putting the axe in the cupboard, and we're ready to board. Me and Tom have different passports because I've got the new Brexit blue colour. Tom has the old style Excellent. EU passport. Hello. Hi. Wow. This is it. We are leaving Ireland and we are going to leave this video here and we'll catch you in the next one uh, where we will enter into Pembrokeshire. Yeah, back into the UK. Start our journey there. So thank you so much for watching along with us uh, for this series and we hope you stick around to continue to see what we get up to and we're going to carry on making these weekly vlogs. Oh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.